Salutations, everybody. It is Maddie here today. Still freezing. Still freezing. Got the winter cap on, but don't worry. We're getting the heat in here fixed. In the meantime, I continue to put it all on the line like we did in yesterday's video, but this time it's in the name of Bethesda. And of course, you out there. Thank you so much for joining me, giving me your time. I appreciate it, and I know it's valuable. So we've talked about Bethesda a, a ton on the channel here, of course, but this last part of the year, we've really dialed in on them because since the Bethesda acquisition by Xbox, things have got really interesting with Starfield leaks, Starfield discussions, Bethesda exclusivity, what's happening with that. But today's topic, I truly could not have expected because I thought it was pretty sure we knew Bethesda Game Studios timeline, which was going to be, hey, next game is Starfield. After that, it's going to be Elder Scrolls 6. It seemed pretty standard that was what's going to happen but they have a big secret game that's in development and it's completely unannounced now so we're going to do some investigation and speculate on what exactly this could be now where do all this information start out from of course at bogorad222 over on twitter quality follow by the way go ahead and do that the reason i say that is because he's always posting linkedin pages and information that's either on maybe the budget of a game or how well it's sold or in this case breakthroughs where we can start talking about a secret game coming from Bethesda Game Studios Montreal, and not just one listing, but three. The first is a senior devs op engineer LinkedIn profile, where they worked at Bethesda Game Studios Austin, who's most responsible for Fallout 76 and getting that game actually working in an online manner. And it says, designed, built, and supported production and development of online game environments encompassing thousands of servers and spread across multiple AWS regions, supported games like Fallout 76, Doom 2016, and an unannounced title. Now remember this one. This is the first one we went over because I want to plan it in your head, okay? It's something that probably will be online. What does that mean? We'll get to it. Let's read some other listings. System programmer. This one's simple. Fallout 76 post-launch as well as an unannounced project. However, this person works in Bethesda Game Studios Montreal. Bethesda Game Studios Montreal was the first Bethesda Game Studios expansion. It was always the Maryland studio, and then they finally grew as a team, and that first expansion was in Montreal. After that, it was Austin, and then it went to Bethesda Game Studios Dallas. But Montreal, as far as we know, the only game they have actually actively worked on that we could say is their own game is Fallout Shelter. They're pretty much a mobile studio, but when it comes to console releases, it was Skyrim Special Edition. So we haven't seen anything from them on the console space, but I think it's very important that Bethesda Game Studio has a dedicated mobile developer, but still, unannounced project at Bethesda Game Studios Montreal. Let's continue reading. The last LinkedIn listing is an environment artist who, according to the experience, currently still works there, but their about page sort of contradicts that a little bit, but still, let's continue on. Currently working at Behavior Interactive in Montreal for almost three years, I had the privilege to work on Star Citizen and have done work on an unannounced AAA game, currently working on another unannounced project now given the fact that we've seen unannounced project on multiple listings here i don't think unannounced AAA game has anything to do with bethesda but still it's worth considering so it leaves us in a spot here where it's two things right it could be a mobile game which would make the most sense or it could be another big AAA game say like another fallout now I, that's just speculation because I think that while 76 is still finding its footing, we've got Steel Dawn coming up and I think that looks pretty solid, although it's not as big as Wastelanders. It's more of what Wastelanders did, which I think was definitely a good thing for the game's health, for the game's player base. And so I'm excited to see more of that. But I think there's no doubt that there's a demand for another mainline Fallout game. And there's questions certainly about, hey, what's going to happen to Fallout when you have a new IP in the mix? And then you have, of course, Elder Scrolls 6 coming after that. What exactly is going to happen in between there? And we've seen that Bethesda Game Studios Austin really took the reins when it came to Fallout 76. Bethesda's Maryland studio really didn't have much involvement in it outside of a little bit. And most of it was like managerial work, production work. Nothing in the sense of like what they did with Fallout 4. That was Bethesda Game Studios Maryland's game. But that's kind of what happens when you just slap the BGS logo on the cover. No one could really tell the difference. Now, I think personally, given the fact that it says unannounced project, my guess, and it would probably be the safest one, is going to be Starfield mobile game. This is a brand new IP. They need to make it as marketable as possible. They need as many people talking about it. It's not like Fallout where there was hype and anticipation. It's not like Elder Scrolls where it carries automatic weight. You need this mobile game not to create hype and surplus, 
but rather you need this mobile game to get people talking about what Starfield is, and especially if you put little hints and secrets on what exactly will be in the game. Like I remember in Fallout 4 with Fallout Shelter, they'd have the lunch boxes and they'd put characters from Fallout 4 in there and you'd get to analyze their loadout and you'd learn more about Fallout 4 by just looking at stuff in Fallout Shelter. And that was kind of cool because any little inkling of detail, of course, helps if you're really hyped for the game. So I'm wondering if Starfield could have something like that. And we're going to read what Todd Howard had said about mobile games that I think is just important context. But then I'll get into what I think it may be on the other end of the spectrum when it comes to a much bigger game, but something that's kind of already in existence. It, it'll make sense after, I promise. But let's quickly read what Todd said about mobile games at E3 2018. We tend to think very big, even if it starts there, it eventually becomes, let's do a multiplayer mode for Fallout 4, and then it becomes this giant separate project. We just did Alexa Skyrim, that's different. We like to pick our battles in mobile, some things that are unique, but when it comes to the main games, we think very big. We feel that we're built to do that. That's what we enjoy making. So they like to pick their battles in mobile. Let's look at it this way. They did one for Fallout 4. It was an incredible success after Fallout Shelter, really just erupted and was one of the most popular mobile games of all time they said okay we gotta do more of this elder scrolls blade comes out and that's capitalizing on what the elder scrolls brand is so i think it would be silly to not expect starfield to do anything but remember that server engineer that we talked about online game right what could that mean keep in mind elder scrolls blades does have online pvp so this could in fact be a mobile game with online elements entirely possible we don't know much about starfield but bethesda has gone on to say hey this is in fact going to be a single player game but it has been the next generation of consoles launching and bethesda has been mighty quiet right and this is just me reading into the situation but honestly i think it's really weird that with a new set of consoles fallout 4 hasn't gotten any changes and Skyrim hasn't got any changes. Now we know, as I mentioned earlier, Bethesda Game Studios Montreal worked on Skyrim Special Edition. That was their game, right? And, and Skyrim was already made. I started thinking a little bit about Fallout 4, and I've said before, imagine, you know, they tried to do Fallout 4 multiplayer mode and that turned into 76, but imagine completing that Fallout 4 multiplayer mode, what that would do for the game's health, getting people into Creation Club, getting people to check out DLC. And then I also thought about Skyrim getting like a second player in there. I mean, that's like one of those updates that you see for next gen and go, whoa, wait, what? And I just wonder about that. If it's going to be online in some way, shape or form, I doubt they're making a whole new online game. So those are my two guesses. Starfield mobile game, which I think is a pretty safe guess, but that could even be wrong. Or of course, Skyrim with some type of next gen update, Fallout 4 with some kind of next gen update, because I don't get why Skyrim which is one of the most popular games of all time, is being touched zero amounts entering next gen. When Bethesda can't leave that game alone. They can't. Like, wouldn't it make sense to at least expand how many mods you could download on next gen hardware? Wouldn't that have at least made sense? But there's been even nothing on that front. Uh, the game doesn't run really any better outside of load times. So it's very peculiar what's going on with Fallout 4 and Skyrim. And now maybe with Bethesda, since they're going through this whole acquisition process with Xbox and of course all of Bethesda's games are going to land on Game Pass perhaps they're waiting until that point in time where they are on Game Pass to be like hey these have all been updated they all run better look better yada 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 and that's what they were sort of waiting for because that gives Game Pass and Xbox that surge Phil Spencer has said before as well as Tim Stewart that they want Bethesda games on Xbox to look play be the best they can specifically on Xbox but does that indicate anything for multi-platform? Now, do keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that this is my deduction based off what I see. Of course, it is not definitive by any stretch of the imagination, but I personally think, hey, it's more than likely going to be a Starfield mobile game or something kind of off the wall, like maybe a Fallout 4 or Skyrim update. With that in mind, however, we have to know that Bethesda Game Studios is far bigger now than they were multiple years ago, right? Remember when they were just the baby Maryland studio? Now they have Montreal, now they have Austin, now they have Dallas. And that's important to mention once more because it could be literally anything. Like I believe the evidence shows, hey, this is Bethesda Game Studios Montreal's project. And given that Bethesda Game Studios Montreal's worked on Skyrim Special Edition and they've worked on Fallout Shelter, this must be either another mobile game or another maybe up res or update to one of the 
current standing games. But this could actually be maybe Dallas's game, or this could be Austin's side project. It could be a number of things. So just know that while this is my deduction, I don't want to go around saying, hey, this is it. This is actually the definitive call. So that's on you to listen and then discuss and maybe we figure something new out. But still, it is very, very interesting to see exactly their silence. And then now we have an unannounced project. Could be Starfield Mobile, could be Fallout 4 Online. I don't know, but it's worth thinking about. There's something going on. It's a big secret. And hopefully after some digging, bringing it to the community here today, we can find out what exactly it is. But I'm just excited, right? Because we had this plan in our heads, right? We're all thinking Starfield, Elder Scrolls 6. Now we know something else is online. What exactly could that be? Your guess is as good as mine, ladies and gentlemen. So now I pass it off to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and lay under the covers and, and warm up <laughs> after this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a while since we've had like a good just drop of speculation here. So let me know what you're thinking of this in the comments down below. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below. Big thank you to all the patrons, all the members who continue to really push the limits of my content. With that, I'll talk with all of you soon. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.